Dearest Lauren, when every girl gets married, it's a day she'll never forget. Her mother, sisters, and girlfriends gather before she takes her last single steps. Before she walks down the aisle to be wed, her first true love, she needs something old, something new, and something spelled <laughs> As you take these steps into your new life, your girlfriends are here with one last of I require and charge you both, as you will answer at the day of judgment when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any reason why you should not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you should confess it now. Can I keep going? <laughs> Let's just start in the beginning. It's 2008. Let me paint the picture. I meet Richard Corley. Graves Hall, I go and think I'm gonna be the country's guy there, no one's gonna know me. And Richard turns back and smiles and goes, what's my name? <laughs> and I just stared. And I was like, it's something. Uh, something with an R? And I was like, Richard Corley. And uh, I was like, I gotta remember this guy's name. I think we're best friends. Richard, will you have this woman as your wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of wedlock? I will. Lauren? You have this man as your wedded husband to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of wedlock. Amen. So that's 2008. Let's go to 2011. Let me paint the picture. Richard oh meets Lauren. God. And I'm like, wow, Lauren is something amazing. She is beautiful. She is smart. She is lovely. She is motherly. Very motherly. Very motherly. Wink, wink. The last time we were both in New Orleans, we were both so close to getting married. Even though because of the hurricane we had to postpone the ceremony, there was one thing I realized. No matter the storm, clouds, or bad times, we were still fortunate to have each other. Ricky, words cannot express how happy I am to finally be standing here with you today. For eight years you have loved me, encouraged me, supported me. When I feel like I am not good enough, you remind me I'm more than enough. When I feel defeated, you encourage me to finish the race. You have taught me to be kind to myself. You encourage me to express myself and to love myself unconditionally. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, my care, and my commitment to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. our glasses to a new union full of sanctified love, personal sacrifices, soul-filling friendships, and laughter to sustain your love for one another. Please start to paint your masterpiece. Paint the future. Hear, hear. <laughs> 